The United Nations urged Japan to ban sexually explicit manga depicting children. Special Envoy Maud Debor Quickio said that it's difficult for publishers to find the correct balance between artistic freedom and the need to protect children. She goes on to say, I accept that the freedom of expression argument should prevail when it comes to adult pornography. However, when it comes to particular extreme child porno pornographic content, manga should be banned. This is a situation that is only going to intensify as the years progress up until the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. So, people need to understand that there are two arguments to the situation. Now, the first side of the argument is, okay, you shouldn't draw characters that look like children. These are children. This, this is something that needs to stop. And then the other side basically says, manga doesn't involve actual children. So there are no actual victims and pointing out that there's no scientific evidence for manga, including actual child abuse. Now, this claim is a very big one. Now, one has to understand that manga is a, is a multi-billion dollar business in Japan, made grossing over $5 billion in 2014 alone. And in the same year, they finally banned, they, 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 Japan finally banned distributing child pornography. Now, on this side of the argument, you have Ken Kamakasu, who is a big time author. He's the creator of Nejima. And a few other series where sometimes you will see the girls not naked or their genitalia they more look like barbie dolls so his works provide a great reference material for aspiring artists but they're only naked in comic in situations for com comedical purposes so basically he says everyone knows you're not supposed to have sex with a school girl no one's doing it it is something that is just that the west sees now, Vice News actually did a documentary on the schoolgirl fetish. So, in the documentary, one of the girls admits that she had sex with her customers. Now you can, basically, it's a guys for you can pretty much just pay for a day to get a young girl to talk to you if you're a lonely man, uh, usually over the age of 30, 35. But other people take the argument even further, are basically saying that there is no such thing as child pornography when it comes to manga and anime. This is a very dangerous argument, and while it might seem solid to the outside person, but what you have to understand is, is when someone is an artist and they draw something, they think about it, they plan it out they do a lot of trial and error now on this image here you see a grown man licking on the chest of a young girl now you can say well we don't know how old she is if you look at the title it says that he basically paid a elementary school student 30 yen for sex so in the book one can assume that he paid he gives the girl money and he basically the sexual acts to her this is what they want to ban but if they don't use a scalpel and they use a chisel shows like monster masume the girls are actually kind of drawn young but not so young look like kids where they are actually adults and it says they're adults and you can tell they're adults will be scrutinized also and that is the reason why the defense is so strong so in the comment section below, uh, voice your opinions, uh, what do you think will happen, and check the description for various links provided for this video, for references for this video, and um, sketch, erase, subscribe.